Welcome. I'm David Sweet, founder and CEO of Focus Core, and I'm here on this glorious Friday morning with Andrew Hankinson, president of Zwilin Japan. Hello, Andrew. Hey, David. Thank you very much for coming today. I am Andrew Hankinson. I am the president and managing director of Zwilling, J.A. Henkels, a famous German cutlery company, cookware company, since 1731. One of the things that I have found is really fascinating, you know, if, and of course, in the interviews, I always ask them, you know, do you have any questions? You know, what can I answer? And almost without fail, their number one question is, what does Zwilling do for sustainability? Four years ago, five years ago, that never came up in yep. any interviews. And now it always comes up, it seems, especially with younger candidates. Very important. Yeah. And luckily, we have good sustainability activities that here uh, in Japan, you know, I could go into that, but that would be a whole different company promotion. But I will say that in Germany, in our head office, we have a sustainability officer. Mm -hmm. So it comes even from the headquarters, and so it trickles down into all of the country offices. So uh, we do a lot of activities. We can list them all up on there. So if, if any candidate asks, what are you doing for sustainability? I can mention, you know, A, B, C, D. And they're all quite uh, interesting. I'd like to just mention one. Yeah. And one of it is because it's really a successful strategy that we've adopted is we have a knife recycle program. Okay. And what that is, in all of our retail stores, you know, we say bring in an old knife. If you bring it in, we will give you a coupon for a 20% discount to buy a new knife. And knives are things that last usually a lifetime. So if you have an old knife, it's dull, it's chipped, or you know, maybe you just got it 20 years ago and you're tired of it or whatever, how do you throw away a knife? Right? It's dangerous. It's also in the culture here, a knife is something that provides food, nutrients. It's something that you cook with. So it has, there's an emotional, spiritual attachment yeah. to knives almost. So what we do is every year in Seki, Seki is the capital of Japan for knife, they have a kuyosai. They have a, a ceremony where they take old knives and they burn them up, melt them down. So we have a knife recycle program where all of these knives that we get, we take them to Seki. It's on November 11th, and we donate them or we give them to the organization. And so they do get oh. melted down. And so we tell that story so that it's a feel good. Yeah. So they know that, oh, I bring in this old knife that uh, you know has been for so many years, and that they know it's going to go to a good place. <laughs> great. And then they're going to get a new knife out of it. And because of this success, we've also recently launched a Stobe Second Life program. So Stobe is a cast iron yep. pot. And some people will buy one or maybe they buy two and maybe they say, hey, you know, I don't need two. Or, you know, it's a little bit heavier than I thought it would be. And if you go on some like flea market sites, you can find a lot of used Stobe products there for sale. Okay. So we wanted to, number one, harness that, but also take ownership of that. And so we've launched the Stobe Second Life program. We use a third party to do that. Huh. And what it is, is if you have an old Stobe cocoa, this company will take it off of your hands for free. You should, the sh shipping yeah. is free. They'll clean it up. They'll make sure that it's in good condition. They'll take photos of it. And they'll put it on the site. And the price is like 50, 60% off wow. of what a new cocoa would be. And the person that gives up their stove, they get a coupon from us where, you know, they can buy some things off of our website. They can, it doesn't have to be another cocoa. It could be the electrics. It could be a knife. It could be any Zwilling or stove products. The sales have outstripped the, the supply of it. So we need to ask people to get for more, right? But we just started that a couple months ago, but it's been a real success story already. So recycling products rather than throwing them away or just letting them sit idle. You know, we do other things with packaging, like we don't use plastic in our factory. We do a lot of things when we make knives, it produces a lot of, you know, dirty water and stuff like that and filtration and solar and all that kind of stuff. So we're very conscious of that. Yeah.
Thank you so much for spending time with me, Andrew, and sharing about your company. Thank you for working with us and sharing your insights into Retain Search. Uh, we've enjoyed it working with you and partnering with you now and in the future. Well, thank you very much, David. Thank you for this opportunity, and thank you for the great talent that you're always bringing my way, and keep it going, buddy. Thank you.